Welcome to Human Anatomy Atlas for Z-Space. Let's go over the basic navigation. Aim the stylus over the model and press the front button to grab hold of it. Now you can rotate or twist your wrist to spin the model. Move your hand side to side or up and down to reposition the model. Pressing the right button on the stylus will allow you to scale the model up and down by moving your hand closer or farther from the screen. Position the stylus beam over a structure and click the left stylus button to select it. This will bring up a window containing lots of useful information about your selection. Now let's take a look at the main menu. Human Anatomy Atlas contains dozens of pre-made views. These views are organized by body system across the top of the screen. Let's start in the skeletal system and choose the skull view. I want to explore the facial skeleton. A quick way to do this is to select the cheekbone and then open up the hierarchy by clicking on this carrot. Selecting the facial skeleton from this list will highlight the anatomy on screen. Let's customize our view. Once a structure is selected, I can fade or hide it using these buttons. I'd like to add the brain to this view, so I'll go down here and select the search. After adding the brain, I can look around and see how it is encased by the skull. If I want to see the brain by itself, I can go over to the systems tray and remove all of the bones from my view. If I hide some of the brain, but then later decide that I would like to get it back, I can go to the tools menu and use the history buttons. Let's build another view. I'm going to the main menu and selecting the thoracic cage. Using the system tray, I can add the respiratory and circulatory systems. I want the whole skeleton on screen, so I toggle the skeletal system off and then on to get the entire system. If I want to learn about a structure, I can select it and get a definition. Muscles have unique features that you can access by going to the pin icon. Clicking on these pins will give me information about the insertion and origin points for this muscle. The thumbnails that appear in this strip are muscle actions that include the pectoralis major. This is an animated muscle action showing horizontal adduction of the shoulder. Let's hide the muscles and take a look at the femur. This button will take me into a sub-view that shows bony landmarks of the femur. Each colored area can be explored. We took a look at one muscle action a little earlier. You can find the rest of the muscle actions under the Media tab. As you can see, there are about 60 of them and they are organized by body region. The quizzes section is a great place to test your knowledge. I'm choosing a heart valve quiz. I'm being asked to find the aortic valve. This one is kind of hidden, so I'll manipulate the model to get a better view. There it is. I'll submit my answer and see that I am correct. Now I need to find the mitral valve. Oops, that's incorrect. Let's show the answer. The last thing I'd like to show you is the language picker. Human Anatomy Atlas has been translated into seven languages. If English is not your primary language, you can go to the settings menu and choose from German, French, Japanese, Chinese, Italian, and Spanish. That concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy Human Anatomy Atlas for Z-Space.